In the video today, we're going to be looking at what is the SAR parabolic? What does SAR stand for? SAR stands for stop and reverse parabolic. What type of indicator is the SAR parabolic? Well, the SAR parabolic is a momentum indicator, otherwise known as a lagging indicator. Lagging indicators are very good at confirming long-term trends. Although lagging indicators lag effectiveness in areas such as sideways trading and can produce multiple false signals. Who created the SAR parabolic indicator? The SAR parabolic was created by J. Wells Wilder Jr. Alongside the SAR parabolic, J. Wells Wilder Jr. also created the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, another popular indicator. Wells Wilder was a financial analyst and was born in Norris, Tennessee, the United States. What does the SAR parabolic indicator show us on the trading charts? When a strong trend has come to an end, the SAR can be used effectively alongside other indicators to show this. It can mark a new market trend and point out the reversal which is taking place. Secondly, the SAR parabolic can give us entry and exit points. The flip of the SAR can mark entry and exit points. Another potential use of the SAR are trailing stop losses. If there is a strong trend, using the SAR as a stop loss can be very effective, using it as a potential exit point. Like other technical analysis indicators, the SAR can be bullish and bearish. It is bullish when the dots are underneath the price candles and the cryptocurrency is above the 50-day moving average. On the contrary, the SAR is bearish when the opposite occurs. This is when the cryptocurrency price is below the 50-day moving average and the SAR is above the candlesticks, showing the bears are in control. So besides being relatively effective on its own, what other indicators does the SAR work well alongside? From research, I've found that the SAR indicator works best alongside moving averages, pivot points, and Bollinger Bands. This was an AAX introductory video on the SAR Parabolica. Now I want to tell you about a quick feature which AAX have just released called the AAX Vault. Vault is a sub-account created for the purpose of crypto management. In the AAX Vault, you will place your AAB into it. From there, you will then receive interest on your AAB. When placing your AAB into the Vault, you will require a minimum of 100 AAB. At the moment, this is the equivalent of around 19 US dollars. Currently, you will receive an annualized rate of return of 4.5%. So if you have 1000 AAB and place it into the AAX Vault with a return of 4.5%, after one year, you would have gained 45 AAB. You then leave your AAB in the vault and watch it grow. This allows for flexibility and does not mean that you have to wait an extended period of time for your interest.